Tottenham fans had every right to dream of trophies following a perfect start to the 2023-24 season. Tottenham's possibilities felt miserable six months earlier. A poor eighth-place finish in the Premier League mirrored a turbulent campaign that saw both Antonio Conte and his interim successor Christian Stellini ousted as a number of important players underperformed. Despite another 30-goal season, Harry Kane was one of the few who could hold his head high, but Bayern Munich immediately made it evident that the England captain was their top summer transfer target, and his eventual exit was certain. According to reports, a number of high-profile managers, like Julian Nagelsmann and Luis Enrique, turned down an invitation to replace Conti, pushing Tottenham to turn to Ange Postacoglu. Although the former Celtic manager was a big success in Scotland, his initial hiring did little to boost the atmosphere at Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. There were red flags raised by Postacoglu's lack of expertise at the highest level, since he was not renowned to Spurs supporters that they would have anticipated. However, the Australian has subsequently shown that he is the ideal candidate to guide the team into a bold new era. As manager of Tottenham, Ange Postacoglu has already had a significant influence. When compared to the miserable mess that they were at this time during their previous season, the team has completely changed. With 17 points from seven games, Spurs appear to be enjoying their more upbeat, aggressive style of play. With Spurs sitting top of the Premier League, Postacoglu's men are ahead of arch rivals Arsenal on goals scored, and they have yet to taste defeat. Their current position is no accident. Here are five ways Postacoglu has transformed a confidence-stricken outfit into arguably the most well-rounded side in the league, and they deserve to be taken seriously as potential title contenders. 1. Resilience Style of Play under Conte and his predecessors Nuno Espirito Santo and Jose Mourinho, Spurs were a cautious, counter-attacking side. They were quite content to sit back in numbers and win matches by the odd goal, with entertainment in short supply for supporters as a result. Since Postacoglu took over, everything has changed because he pushes his players to express themselves and take chances under pressure. Spurs are creating many chances because they are now inviting their opponents to press and have repeatedly demonstrated their ability to play through it. The resilient style of play was in full force during Tottenham's dramatic two, two draw with Arsenal in the first North London Derby of the season, and they truly ought to have left the Emirates Stadium with all three points. As the game entered its closing minutes, Spurs, not Arsenal, went all out in search of a victory. The Gunners were split open by the visitors once during a nine-pass play that was initiated by goalkeeper Guglielmo Vicario, but the potential goal of the season was snuffed out when Pedro Poro's cross was diverted out for a corner. Spurs were quite simply a joy to watch, as they have been throughout Postacoglu's tenure so far. After the Arsenal game, summer signing James Madison expressed his appreciation for the manager's confidence that the team can succeed if they play his style. If we lose playing his way, that's on him, his responsibility, and it gives you freedom to go and play as well. Tottenham might advance significantly with that outlook. Postacoglu can see that the players are giving it their best for him and that they are all pushing in one direction. 2. Magical Madison Ever since Christian Eriksen left the club in 2020, Spurs had sorely missed the influence of a creative midfielder capable of unlocking defenses with moments of individual excellence. James Madison has filled that void magnificently since making a summer switch from Leicester City. In the new Postacoglu era, Madison has been the star player for Spurs, comfortably assimilating to the number 10 position following his £40 million transfer. In his first eight Premier League games, the England international has two goals and five assists with his most recent magical display occurring at Luton. Only the finest players are able to create something from nothing, and Madison's inventiveness has given Tottenham's attack a new angle. This season, he has produced more chances than any other Premier League player, and he also seems to have established a leadership position. Madison has the freedom to go around as he pleases in quest of the ball. When Spurs enter the final third of the field, he plays near to striker Son Hyung Min and weaves movements with Eve Bissouma and Pape Matar Sar in the center of the field. He also joins in to generate overflows out wide. 
With the team's morale appearing to be at an all-time high, Madison's performances are motivating others around him to play at a higher level. The former Leicester City player has seized his opportunity to flourish at a bigger club with both hands and appears to be enjoying every second of it. Madison is also enjoying the extra ball touches he is getting at Spurs. He made 36.7 passes per 90 minutes in the previous season, but with his new team, that number is now 53. He is using that additional possession well to influence games as well. Madison has made more passes into the penalty area than any other player in the Premier League. Despite playing as a center attacking midfielder, Madison's two most impressive skill displays have occurred close to the opponent's half. Madison stands out from the bulk of his peers because of his devotion, and if Spurs keeps moving in the same direction, there is no end to what he can do. 3. Quick Defense Goalkeeper Guglielmo Vicario, left-back Destiny Udoji, and centre-back Van de Ven are all newest recruits to Tottenham's defence, and each has had an immediate impact. No Premier League goalkeeper has a better save percentage than Tottenham's number one, and Udoji has made more tackles than any other defender in the league. Postacoglu will also be pleased with how effectively Christian Romero has bonded with Dutch central defender Van de Ven, whose excellent play has earned him a senior Netherlands debut. Spurs hardly deployed full backs last season, with Conti preferring a 3-4-3 formation, but Postico Glue has emphasized their significance since his arrival. When Tottenham is on the attack, the Australian tactician prefers a 4-2-3-1 formation, with both his right and left defender shifted forward and inside. They rush into midfield as Spurs adopt an ultra-attacking 2-3-5 formation that has offered plenty of benefits already, in 2023-24. When opponents sit back, they will both carry the ball forward with great confidence, and while Romero is the more aggressive of the two, they have both showed an immense passion for defending effectively this season. The secret to their success is their ability to advance fast. Van de Ven and Romero are two of the quickest Spurs players, and their superb recovery speed allows them to defend high up the field near the halfway line, this allows Spurs to push opponents with conviction, knowing they have two incredibly quick defenders to cover behind them. 4. Quick Replacement of Kane Sun Hung Min and Kane were a match made in heaven, combining for 47 Premier League goals in eight years, the greatest pairing in the competition's history. Kane would not have been Tottenham's all-time leading goalscorer without Sun's assistance, as the South Koreans seem to have a clairvoyant knack for locating his striking partner in advantageous situations. The favor was frequently returned to Sun, although Kane was always regarded as Tottenham's focal point. As a result, while his departure ended an all-time great duo act, it also provided Sun with the opportunity to take the spotlight. Posteco Glue named Sun as Spurs' new captain after his appointment as manager, but initially kept him in his usual role wide on the left. The 31-year-old failed to score in his first three Premier League outings of the new season, before being asked to lead the line in an away clash at Burnley on September 2nd. Tottenham romped 5-2 victory at Turf Moor, with Sun scoring a hat-trick. On multiple instances, he took advantage of the Claret's high line, and more often than not, had the finish to match his intelligent technique. Sun scored a brace in the North London Derby, and scored his sixth goal of the season in Tottenham's smash-and-grab victory over Liverpool. I think the way we're playing suits him, Postacoglu said following the second match. Given how many opportunities Spurs are creating right now, it wouldn't be surprising if Son was surreptitiously striving for his second golden boot of his career. Tottenham are not missing Kane, and that's largely due to Son. He's tailor-made for Postacoglu's system, and has taken on the responsibility of being the focal point in the team wonderfully. 5. Strong Relationship with Fans Tottenham's previous managers were unable to establish strong bonds with the fans, in the past because they were too preoccupied with publicly praising their own players or criticizing a lack of transfer activity. But Postacoglu understands just how important it is to have fans on his side, and how they can drive the squad to go the extra mile when the stakes are high, as they were against Sheffield United. He will not blame anyone else if the Spurs fall short at times. 
Postico Glue accepted full responsibility for Spurs' early exit from the Carabao Cup after a humiliating penalty shootout loss to Fulham in the second round. When Daniel Levy and Spurs decided to go with me, then I knew that they were open to going in my direction, he said in a recent interview with TalkSport. Then it's down to me. After that, I'm going to take responsibility for what happens here, good, bad, or otherwise. If I don't succeed, it's not going to be because of external factors, because I've accepted taking them on. It's all up to me from now on. The Spurs boss added on his long-term vision, I'm not going to tell the fans to not be disappointed. But I'm here because I want to create a club that has the opportunity to win things on a yearly basis. In conclusion, Mourinho led Tottenham to the top of the league after a 2-0 victory over Manchester City in November 2020, and they enjoyed their greatest start to a season in 59 years in 2022-23, with Conti's side earning 23 points from their first 10 games. The difference this time is that Posteca Glue has Spurs playing far better football. They go into every game with the goal of winning, and the group now has a fighting mentality that was extremely absent in past years. Time will tell if Tottenham can truly compete with City and Arsenal for the Premier League title, but that is what they should aspire for. The key opponents' fixture schedules are significantly more demanding, giving post Glue's men an advantage. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and click on the notification bells for more videos. Until the next one, stay tuned.